So hi everybody and welcome back to the C++ tutorial series for Absolute Beginners. This is video 322 and in this video we continue with our exercise in like old time. You read the question, pause the video, answer as good as you can, compare it with my answer and, and better with online resources uh, and then we go on. So let's get started. We uh, stopped here at number 23 and you can see we have this little code snippet here. So and you should say what is this um, uh, what? Well, I mean, when is this a pair value? All right, pause the video, answer as good as you can, and then uh, uh, start the video again and compare it with my answer. And like all time, I don't pause the video, I just jump into the answer. All right, the answer is, first of all, what is that? We already had this, this is our ternary operator, and in the, the, the technical, term is ternary conditional expression in this case but we already had this so what is the problem here because we had this uh, with l values but in this case um, it's in pr value and <clears throat> uh, when we talked about this one we had a problem because i didn't explain you when it is a l value and the reason for that was because there is a big, big, big definition for that. And when I go here to the ternary uh, expression and click here on the conditional and go here to the side, you can see it starts around where it starts around here anywhere. So here is the start uh, definition. And then you can see here the many, 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 many cases, right? And you have to go through these cases actually to understand this a little bit more in detail when it's an L value, when it's an R value. And that's why we have not talked about it because you can see that would take a whole video or even more just to go through here. And that's why I said you should read this uh, through yourself. But important is in this case, you can press, for example, Control F, search for PR value and see when is the case when it's a PR value. For example, here we have one. Then in this case, we have one. And then you can go through this one and see all time when this expression becomes a PR value. But I skip this part. This is your part. Uh, you can do this on your own. But in our case, we go on with our question. So important for us is to know this can be an L value, this can be in PR value, depends on these variables here. And you have then to distinguish that after you read all these conditions, if you need this. So with that said, let's go to the next question. And the next question is number 24. And it says here static cast and we have here double X. And uh, here we have one more code snippet. It says here in brackets int 42. First of all, you should explain when this is a PR value. And again, pause the video and try it. And I don't pause the video again. I jump to the answer. And the answer is, uh, first of all, we had this already too. I mean, we have already talked about a static cast uh, in L values, but now, this can also be a PR value. So that's uh, so. If you said here it's an L value, could be right because it depends on uh, the situation how you use it. Uh, this one is not an L value. Um, all right, this is a uh, PR value, and uh, important is this one here when it's a uh, PR value. And here it says a cast expression to non-reference because when we talked about the static cast, when it was an L value, it was an L value only when it was a reference type, also an, uh, a cast expression um, with a reference type. And let me show you this one here. I mean, I jumped to the example which we already had. It was this one. This is the L value category here. And here I made this example here. We created here a variable. Then we created here another variable. And you can see this one is just a static cast. This is, uh, I mean, uh, this is the 
C++ cast. And now, interesting comes this part here. Uh, using static cast uh, to cast x to an L value reference. And here, important is, you can see the x which we created here on top. We are casting to our reference, right? So I created here a reference. I called it whatever this is. And then I cast it from this one. Uh, I assigned it to this one. And the strange thing was here, wait a minute, how is this possible? Because, because at uh, this type and this type are not uh, compatible but i just assigned to it and there i said careful about uh, codes like this there is a implicit implicit means behind the scene the compiler can do this but for readability i said you should make this one here because exactly that one happens there as well this is the same thing here the only difference is implicit the compiler makes behind the scene and this is the better way which you should make as a programmer because then you know when you read the code what really happens uh, and what happens is here is a static cast for a x to an int um yeah that was that but now we are we are going to the uh, let's see an uh, example for the other one the other one is just let me see did i made it there uh, the other one is just that you make a non-reference type for example uh, that you cast it not to a reference type so with other words this ampersand must gone and if you make then a cast then it works let me make it here because i don't find where i made the example anyway let's make here int when you have int now without a um without a reference type i call it uh let's call it without with <laughs> out ref and then when you uh, use the static cast and then when you static cast you write int for example because we our goal is the int so we have to write here int but of course we can't use x here because it should be uh, a double but we have here a double let's use this xx because this was casted to a double this one x is x a double let's make it here xx so this one would be a static cast with a l value because we are using a non-reference type all right that should be right for this one and this is then a pr value all right and let's see what i have here yeah this is our non-reference type that was this but i think that was quite easy but you have all time keep this in mind one is reference is uh, l type and uh, non-reference is r type so uh, for starters all right let's go to the next uh, next question and that is number 25 and here the this pointer value category so again pause the video try to make uh, try to answer this and here I forgot something make a code example because we want train a little bit coding as well right let's write here make a code example as two code example all right oops <laughs> make a code example all right pause the video try to do this and make a little code example as well so you train this one where to use it and how to use it and uh, and then um, describe the value category in this context because the context is also very important all time and with that said again i don't pause the video i jump to the answer and the answer is here that this pointer is per definition a pr value expression what i mean per definition is when you go here to the this pointer click here and open up this side here it says this first line here if you read it it says the expression this is a pair, uh, pr value expression and then you can see uh which uh, whose value is the address of the implicit object parameter so it takes just the address but this is here per definition let's take it this way because it's a little bit more complicated of course under the hood uh, but eh, we we take this one so that we don't uh, that we oh it's enough for us to understand uh, at this point but important is make an example so that we see how to use that again how to use at this pointer in general have you this one i made anywhere an example 
a very simple example again and uh, let me find this if I find it okay I use this time as tracked normally we use this all time I think uh, in my older videos I use all time a class and a constructor because there makes sense when we have the same variable name then the this pointer is very important because when we have for example here int uh, a variable name my house number and let's say uh, we get a function or a constructor which has a parameter as well house number exactly that what I already have then we use normally the this pointer to distinguish uh, if we want say I want to use that one then I say like this one in my function here this house number and this house number is this one let's make this one also house number so that we can that we see this uh, better my house number so you can see the argument here or the, the parameter in this case but this one is the same like this one and that's normally not good but happens a lot and if this happens then you uh, you are using this one so how we distinguish this again you can use this uh, keyword and then you're indicating ah that this is all time referring to the object and the object is all time the thing what you have defined in it and uh, my house number here in the function is then this parameter here or the argument which was given so i hope uh, this makes sense and yeah per definition this one this this expression is an pr value but of course there can be exceptions later but this was per definition like so all right, with that said, I think we make again here a little break and like all time, uh, have fun. See you in the next video and don't give up. Bye.